In this video, what we'll walk through are some of the tools you have available to you in creating your lessons. To get started, what we'll use is the menu in the top left corner and access plan board, which will bring us to the current date in our planner. Now, if we can't get to the current date, it'll go to as close to that date as possible. So in this case, it's going to the first day of the school year, which is Monday, September 3rd. And then we can use the calendar icon here in the top to access any other date that falls within our school year. Simply click on the calendar icon as shown here, and you can navigate through it and select a date that you wanna plan lessons for. For now, we'll go ahead and leave it on Monday, September 3rd, and we'll jump into our math subject in our morning block here to start creating content. When I click into edit, you'll notice that you have all these editing tools that become available to you. The first thing you'll always wanna do when you're creating your lessons is add a lesson plan title. It's very helpful to add a lesson plan title to your lesson plans, not only for yourself to refer to down the road when you don't necessarily wanna read through all the details of every lesson to know what it was, but also for your colleagues. If you're ever planning on sharing your lesson plans or potentially sharing it with a substitute teacher or for your administrators to see what you're doing for that particular date, you can put a title on your lesson to make it much quicker and easier to identify what's going on for that particular lesson. So for example, you might wanna include the date, which makes it easier for sharing, as well as a brief description of what you're covering. So for covering fractions, and maybe this is one of four lessons, then you can go ahead and add that into the title. And again, you can always come back and make adjustments to this whenever you need to. And you may have noticed that it is saving automatically as you're typing, so you don't have to worry about clicking the save button every time. We can now go ahead and write out the various components of our lesson plan. So if we wanted to start with the objectives here, we could start writing these out. And as you're working through and adding content, not only can you simply type the content in here, you can use the options along the top here, which a lot of them may be familiar to you, such as bold, italicize, bullet points. You can also do things like insert images and videos. So for example, if we wanted to add into the technology section a video, we can put our cursor there. We can go over to YouTube and grab the web address of the video that we want. Come back into PlanBoard, click on the video icon, and just put the web address in here. Go ahead and click insert, and that will add the video directly into our lesson where we can actually play it from here. So you don't have to go looking for the video anymore, and this is something that you can always reuse in the future if you need to. As you're working through your lesson plan, you can also do things like add hyperlinks. If maybe there's an external resource that isn't a video, maybe it's an article or a blog post that you'd like to share with students, you can link that in here as well. Now, in addition to hyperlinks, you may find that you have, whether it's a PowerPoint presentation or a PDF document for handouts or anything along those lines, that you want to include as a resource for your lesson plan. To add those to your lesson, you would use the upload files option here, which gives you access to all the files on your computer and allows you to attach that directly to your lesson plan. This is very similar to attaching a file to an email, only in this case, you're attaching the file to the lesson plan that you're teaching students. You can use all these different features to create the lesson that you'd like to have for this particular date. 